there are some very interesting trends occurring for executives who are pursuing a board portfolio. And the number one trend that I'm seeing in the market is that individuals are starting to develop their board careers much earlier than ever before. And so we are seeing people in their late 30s, 40s, starting to think about their board career and starting, you know, relatively modestly, maybe on a small not-for-profit or a small private enterprise and building up some board credentials. And a lot of organisations now have been a lot more open and willing to allow executives to serve on an, in an external board and have seen how that can benefit the organisation. So we're definitely seeing this trend towards people starting board portfolios earlier. We are now seeing the trend towards what we call hybrid, uh, where people are still working in the executive world, in the C-suite, for example, and they might hold one or two external board seats. That becomes more common as people are near the age of potentially retirement, obviously. But increasingly, we're seeing quite a number of executives make that very strategic decision to move away from the C-suite and pursue a board director, director portfolio. Now that's not for everyone, but certainly there are some very senior executives who could continue down the CEO pathway, but they're choosing to go board portfolio because they want more flexibility, more variety, they want to serve across a range of organisations, and the stresses and the pressures of CEO work is not, you know, the bang for the buck, the reward isn't necessarily there. And so they're looking at an alternative way of operating. And we're seeing that happen quite a bit. I would say I'd have at least a dozen CEOs right now who I'm talking to who are considering leaving behind the CEO pathway, even though they're in demand, they're being offered opportunities, but they'd prefer to go down towards a board portfolio. So that's a major trend that we're seeing. The other thing that we're definitely noticing is that people are taking this very, very seriously and, you know, they're, they're getting their board portfolio up and established over the course of 12, 18 months. And then in the 18 to 36 months, they're really starting to build out the portfolio so that it's commercially viable. So it typically takes a couple of years to get these portfolios up into major levels of income. And, you know, they're working hard. So there's a lot of networking that happens to secure those correct board appointments. We are definitely seeing a trend towards a, an overarching strategy in mind when they're assembling the board portfolio. What roles would go with what? How would everything sort of hang together, complement each other, making sure you're getting that mixture exactly right. And so there's a lot of thought that needs to go into the first, the second, the third board appointments and how they will all complement each other and then drive the board career forward. So there's a lot more structure and professionalism coming into the mix. And then the final trend I'll just mention is that I am seeing a lot more of the professional board members who are serving across multiple boards. They're bringing in some form of virtual assistance, PA assistance to help them manage that portfolio of activity because it's almost like running a little mini business because you're if you're serving on five or six boards, you've got board meetings to coordinate, board papers to read, um, a lot of meetings, ad hoc meetings that have to be scheduled. And so increasingly we're seeing a trend towards some, some form of uh, VA support towards that individual so that they're running their board portfolio very professionally, not letting things slip through the cracks. So certainly some, some really interesting paradigms. I first trademarked uh, board portfolio 15 plus years ago and you know this has really become the norm this is the way people want to operate this is how people want to go forward with their careers especially later in life and it is an incredible way to serve and to give back and to have some flexibility work-life flexibility yourself as you go forward uh, into the later years serving in the boardroom